Hey everyone, it's Graphic back with another video, and today we're going to be talking about four different money-making methods in New World. There's a lot of different money-making methods out there, but today we're going to talk about some of the best. So to first start this video, I do want to say we are going to be doing a couple of different places where you have to run around a little bit. Because of that, I would definitely take a build that really gives you mobility. So the Rapier with Flesh is a really good option. Also, you could take Burnout on the Fire Staff with the Extended Burnout. You're actually going to be able to get past... Um, there's a, there's one of the money making methods has a river and you're going to want to get across that river with burnout just so you don't have to, you know, waddle through that, <laughs> through that water very, very slowly. Um, new world. If you're watching, definitely get us some swimming. We do want to swim occasionally, but, uh, we just don't have that option yet. So just keep that in mind. If we are going for the skinning methods, there's going to be some skinning methods today in the video. Uh, I would suggest getting a bow and then just taking zero arrows because if you take zero arrows, you're not going to be wasting any gold. So that's just my thought. And realistically, you're going to one shot all the stuff today in this video. Maybe not one of them. I'll talk about that here in just a second. I don't want to spoil anything, but let's talk about the four methods. So the first method is going to be killing wolves. And this is going to be that low level method where you're going to get tier one hide, but tier one hides actually selling for a decent amount right now. It's going to be right here. Um, I did this for an hour and it was actually really, really good. Uh, not just XP, but mostly gold. You're not going to get a ton of XP from tier one hide or doing tier one wolf skinning. But uh, skinning is very fast, up to 200 anyway. So let's take a look at hide real quick. It is going to be called roll hide, of course, 0.45 a piece. It was a very, very good method to make money. Uh, we'll compare all of the actual money making that we made over the hour at the end of the video. But I want to kind of talk you guys through exactly our prices on Orfina first so that you guys know, you know, oh, there's this 0.45, well, ours is 0.85. So this is a better method. You guys need to know what's best for your server and the competition on your server because certain nodes are going to have less or more competition depending on where you're going. So that was method number one that we're going to try. Method number two that we're going to try is going to actually be Windsward. It's going to be a very, very big fiber fest. We're going to go down to a spot that we used to go all the time when we were low level. It is down here in Primrose. And then also we're going to go to the homestead. And around this area, you're going to find a ton of different fiber bushes. And we're also going to find a lot of hysip. And we can also go for the buffalo and skin those if we want to as well. There's some really good dragon glories as well that you can collect and some just cool stuff in this area. You guys have probably been here before. It's going to get you a lot of gold. And when it comes to fiber, fiber selling for a decent amount right now. If we take a look at fiber, 0.34 a piece. If we take a look at high sup as well, we're getting about 0.49 gold a piece. So very, very good across the board there. If we go to the third money making method, it is going to be Ebon Scale. Ebon Scale wood cutting, that is. So, what you would do, you just teleport up here to the Spirit Shrine, and pretty much right in this area, there's just a ton of different trees, whether it's aged wood or just, you know, the regular old wood, or let's see what it's actually called. I can't think of what it's called right now, uh, even though I just, you know, wood cut it for the last hour. So, green wood is what it's called. It's selling for about 0.19 right now, which is pretty dang low, and then aged wood is the other one. So the big bonus on these wood cutting methods is that they are all in kind of one condensed area. So you don't have to kill anything. You don't have to do anything that's, uh, you know, too, too crazy. You just stay in one spot, pretty much rotating around a big area of trees and cutting down these wood pieces between PVP arenas or whatever else. So that's the big thing that I like to do with these money-making methods is I don't go do them, you know, for five hours and make a lot of gold. I'll just do them between queues for PVP arena or OPR or finding dungeon groups. So those are all different kind of areas that I like to make money in New World. So there's going to be one more spot that we haven't talked about quite yet. We talked about the Evanscale woodcutting. We talked about the Windsward fiber area. We talked about Everfall skinning area. I don't believe we talked about the Boar's Home yet. So Boar's Home is the fourth one that we're going to do today. Just kind of mention, um, this is a spot that used to be very, very good. Not as good anymore as it's high competition. There's less, I think they lowered the spawn rate or the spawn of Boar's altogether. But you're going to get tier four hide out of this. So you're going to have to have a higher skinning level, which, you know, is not too crazy. But the hide is going to sell for pretty much the same amount. So thick hide sells for about 0.35 right now versus, I believe, raw hide was selling for looks like 0.45. So you're going to be able to see that there's a barely of an increase there for raw hide versus the tier four hide. But the one thing that's nice about Boar's Home is all the boar are in the you know same area, condensed area. So you're able to do it very, very quick. 
Uh, but there was high competition in the video today. So that method is going to be much lower, most likely than the others when it comes to gold per hour. So let's jump into these methods and talk about how much gold per hour I made. So the first method we're looking at is the ebb and scale method. This is just where you go around, you cut down young trees, you cut down uh, really mature trees, any tree you can find in this upper ebb and scale area by the spirit shrine. Uh, this is definitely one of the lower gold per hours we had out of all the methods. This one netted us right around 2,200 gold per hour. It does depend if you're picking up up as well. That will probably up it just a little bit. But uh, for the most part, this is a method that is not going to net you a ton of gold. But if you need logging to 200 anyway still, it's not a bad option to do between maybe PvP arena queues or OPR queues. Or if you're watching Netflix, as it's very, very low competition and low intensity. So the next one we have is Boar's Holm. This was actually the lowest gold per hour because of the really high competition that we had here. It was the first time I ever really went anywhere without being PvP flagged for the video's sake. And it's pretty unfortunate because I would have loved to kind of fight for this area and tried this with the low competition after I took him out. Unfortunately, never got to really try that. Um, the kills do take a little bit on the big dude, but everything else is very, very quick kills and pretty good XP and also, like I said, pretty good gold as well. But really, this was the lowest gold per hour because of the high competition, netting us right around 1,600 gold per hour. So next up, we have the Everfall skinning area. This actually netted us 2,700 gold per hour, which put it in second place. It was a low competition area where you could just hang out and really skin nonstop wolves for their tier one rawhide. It was a very, very easy way to just go around and skin with the bow, like I said, bringing no ammo, so you're not wasting any gold, running around, killing all these wolves. Here were some wolves for free that I got um, in this area as well that were already killed. There's just a lot of this. Nobody's skinning these. There was no competition. Let me know on your server if this is a place that's competed for, as I think it probably should be. So finally, we have the Windsward Fiber Area. This was netting us 3,500 gold per hour, which is quite a bit. And this is not even including the dragon glories that we were able to harvest, the buffalo that we were able to harvest. I didn't include these in that 3,500 gold per hour. This was insanely low competition for the middle of the day. I, I just assumed realistically that people would be here harvesting this fiber as it's such good money. But there really wasn't anyone here. So that's something you'll notice in this video. Nobody here in the middle of the day hunting this fiber. So it was a great time getting all these buffalo, getting all the fiber, and then also getting like salamander slimes and all those extra things along the way. This is definitely one of the best money-making methods I've seen in New World when it comes to very, very low entry level. So basically skinning, or sorry, not skinning, but harvesting is very, very low level here. Uh, you can do level one and get all this fiber um, just very, very easily. So you can compete with the best in money-making when it comes to gathering with just having level one harvesting. So pretty cool stuff. If you guys have any questions or comments, let me know down in the comment section below. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn notifications on. I do want to hear about your guys' money-making methods. So if you guys haven't already, let me know down in the comments. I'll see you guys all in the next one.